What was house? Bet. Bet. And my house? Betty. Betty. What was name? Ism. And my name? Ismi. Ismi. And if you forget how to make this my, we can of course just think of Habibi, my darling, my, my loved one. If Habibi is my darling, how is darling? Habib. Habib. You can work backwards now and take off this I. So if you see a word around and you know that the I in that particular case is the possessive my, you can also work backwards, take that off and get the original word. What was you talking to a male? Anta. And to a female? Anti. Anti. So we saw we have A pairing with male and I with female. And we saw that reproduced in the words for this and that, which we said are the same words in Arabic. So how do you say this or this one or this guy? Da. Good. And this or this one or this female? Di. Di. Betak means your house. Talking to a male. Betak. How do you think it would be talking to a female? Betik. Of course. Betik. We are seeing the same a occur for you, male, and the same i occur for you, female. So how would you say, what is your name? Talking to a male. Ismak e. Very good. Ismak e. To a female. Ismik e. Ismik e. How would you say to a male, is your house big? Is your house big? Betak kebir. Good. Betak kebir. And to a female? Betik kebir. Good. Betik kebir. And kebir refers to house. No. So it's not changing because we are speaking to a female. No. Maybe you say betik kebira. But no. Kebir is referring to the house and the house is masculine. Betik kebir. So what was you? Plural. You guys. Entu. Entu. Your house, speaking plurally, your guy's house, let's say, is Beitku. 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 So we have ak, ik and ku, not uk. I wish it was, it would be much more coherent, no? But this one flips, we get ak, ik and then ku for you, plural. Actually, you could also hear kum, you can hear both. Beitkum, beitku. You could hear either. So how would you say, I don't know where your guy's house is? I don't know where your house is, speaking to more than one person. Good. How was the word for office? Maktab. Maktab. And your office, speaking to a male? Maktabak. Maktabak. Good. The accent will move one down when you add on that extra syllable. Maktab, maktabak. To a female? Maktabik. 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 Good. How do you say I'm going to your office speaking to a female? Ana rayah maktabik. Good. Ana rayah maktabik. Good. And your office speaking plurally? Maktabku. Maktabku. Good. Where is your office talking to more than one person? Maktabku fan. Good. And what is my office? Maktabi. Maktabi. Good. What was the word again for from? Min. Min. And from me? Mini. Mini. Good. So how do you think you would say from you, speaking to a male? Minak. Minak. Also here with a double N, actually. The N doubles when we add on that ak. Because of that vowel, actually, like in minni, we had that same doubling, minnak. So how would you say from you talking to a woman? Minnik. Minnik. And to plural you? Minku. Minku. Or you could also hear minkum. You could hear an M there. So in fact, this min means from, but it also means than. So mini can mean than me or from me either. So now is a very nice time to see another pattern that we can use with this than. Tell me again the word for big or great. Kibir. Kibir. The word for bigger or biggest, so it's both, bigger or biggest, is akbar. 
Akbar. Does it sound familiar? It sounds like Kabir. It has the same root. It doesn't sound familiar, for example... From Allahu Akbar. Of course, from hearing the quarter prayer, no? Which, which we hear here in Cyprus. Yeah. So, Kabir is big or great. And Akbar is bigger or greater. And as you said, of course, it sounds like Kabir. We have the roots, the same roots. And of course, if you hear the Muslim quarter prayer anywhere, you hear this in the first sentence. Now, this means most words in the pattern of Kabir and quite a few other words as well, which aren't in this pattern, we can do the same thing to. So, for example, we had Karim, which was generous. If we want to get more generous or most generous, all we need to do is put Qur'am in the pattern of Akbar. And as we saw with the Madrasa template, the best way to do this is syllable by syllable and slowly. We must do this slowly, then we will get very quick at it and very good at it. But if we rush, we will just be chasing ourselves and not getting comfortable with the process, which is very, very important. So if we have Akbar as our template, we want to divide it into two syllables, Ak and Bar. Then we look at Karim, what are our roots of Karim? ka -ra -ma. Good. Putting the roots Koromo in this pattern, what will happen to Ak? It stays Ak. It stays Ak, right? We have Kobara and Koromo. So Ak doesn't change. Then we have Bar. What happens to Bar? Ram. Good. Now put it together. Akram. Akram. So Akram means more generous or most generous. Ahmed is actually the same very pattern, isn't it? Ahmed. We have Hamad for praised, and this is the most praised, Ahmed. We had a name meaning happy or lucky. Do you remember it? Said. Good. What are the roots of Said? Sa -a -da. Again. Sa -a -da. Are you trying to make Ain? Yeah. So let's make a recap of how to pronounce this Ain. Okay. Give me the Habibi H. Ha. And now tighten the throat down in the same position that you make the H. So you can do it whilst you're making the H, just to make sure you don't change the position too much. Ha, ha, ha. That's it. So if you make the H and alternate between tightening the throat or not, that's a nice way to practice this sound. So what are the roots from Said? S-A-D. Good. So the roots are S-A-D. Happy or lucky? How would you say more lucky or more happy. So we go back to our template of Akbar and we address it syllable by syllable. So the first syllable would be As. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about the second. Ad. Exactly. As'ad. As'ad, which is also a name actually. And when you meet somebody, maybe they tell you Forza Saida, which means something like happy, lucky chance, no? Isn't it nice that we met? And there is a reply to this saying. So in Arabic you have a lot of fixed sayings for different situations and you have fixed replies or an option of different replies as well. The most common reply to Forsa Saida is Ana Asad. So what's happening there? Forsa Saida, happy chance. And if I reply Ana Asad, what's happening there? What's the reply? I am luckier. I am happier. But this is interesting now because Forza Saida, happy chance, what's understood is like my lucky chance. It's lucky for me that we met. But, I mean, literally, what you're saying is happy chance. And then the reply, and uh, Asad, I am happier, I am happier than that chance. So it's, it's, it's interesting, actually, the turn of phrase and the reply. Of course, this is not something that uh, native speakers notice. In your own language, these things, these fixed expressions, you repeat them without analyzing them. We had the word for new. What was the word for new? Gadid. Gadid. And this is the same pattern as Kabir, Karim, Gadid. So you can fit it into this pattern to say newer or newest. How would that be? Agdad. Agdad. Good. So now we can say something like my house is newer than your house. My house is newer than or from your house. So, how do you say my house? Betty. 
good is nua. Agdad. Than or from. Min. Your house. Talking to a female. Betik. Say that all together. My house is nua than your house. Beti agdad min betik. Good. Beti agdad min betik. I would just say my house is bigger than your house. This time let's speak to more than one person. My house is bigger than your house. Beti akbar min betku. Beti akbar min betku. Very good.